Good morning Pisces! Welcome to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a timeless reading for you guys. I just woke up and I'm feeling amazing and I want to share this energy with you. This goes for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Welcome to the Pisces Club, welcome to the last day of the Pisces Marathon this weekend. The whole point of this is for you to have a whole menu of readings to choose from. So you can find the one that resonates with you the most. I'm going to be doing these marathons every weekend of September, so you can go ahead and subscribe, totally free, so you can get access to all of these readings. Alright, I'm going to be ta taking the jumping cards upright. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces. My beautiful fishies, which I love so much. Whoa, well, should I take those? No. Okay. It's a whole, like, <laughs> 30 cards. Have you guys enjoyed the marathon? I hope you have. The sale is over, guys. The sale is over, but I might bring it back. Um, maybe at the end of the month, or maybe next month, we'll see. Pisces. Right now you are in the dark about something it seems. With the moon here, there is some information that you would love to have. Maybe a conversation you would love to have. Maybe some details. Maybe some confirmations. But right now um, things are kind of blurry in that sense. You know, it's undefined. There's open circles, you know, that you would wish to kind of like close and, and I's you would like to dot and T's you would like to cross. But right now, it seems like it's not happening. It's nothing big, nothing frustrating. It's just, you know, you would prefer <laughs> to be able to have all that information. You know, when the moon is full and it lights up um, the landscape, it is clear you can see but you can't see the same way that you would see if the sun was illuminating everything right that seems pretty obvious but um the thing is when the moon is shining bright the illusion of things is very easy to fall into so you may see one thing and think that it's another or you may think that you're safe to step here but then you realize you're not because you kind of have light but not completely There seems to be some kind of decision that is being made here. But your eyes are blindfolded, Pisces. You don't have all the information that you need. Here, I feel overthinking. I feel um, your mind being in an overdrive. I'm getting the energy of the Nine of Swords. Even though I'm not getting the Nine of Swords here, it feels very much anxious and stressed. Maybe some of you guys are not dealing with um, the lack of information very well, you know. Some of you guys may actually be feeling quite um, annoyed. This could have something to do with a cancer. Literally a cancer zodiac sign person or a diagnosis of cancer is what I'm, what I'm getting. It could also have to do with an Aries, Leo, Sag, or Scorpio, Libra, too. Those are the signs that are coming up. Take what resonates with you. Not all of the signs are going to apply for you. Um, remember that some messages are going to be for you. Other messages are going to be for other Pisces um, watching this video. Someone here needs to be given a little bit more credit. <laughs> Someone here is actually very well-spirited. This person is patient. This person is um, 
has a good attitude towards things. This could be an Aries Leo Sag. Um, maybe some of you guys are thinking like, oh, maybe this person is not right. Maybe this person has a hidden agenda, you know, trust issues, some kind of annoyance. But this person is actually facing up to the situation very gracefully, whatever it is. They're facing up, you know, life. They're showing up for life in a very positive energy, especially under the circumstances. So this, there's, this person needs a little bit more credit because they are very fair. They are very grounded. They're very, what I'm getting is kind of like responsible with their passion and their emotions, maybe towards you. And there's a part of you that also likes um, justice, you know, equal give and take in regards to something. And you see this king of wands and you realize, you know, this person is pretty fair. This person is pretty reasonable. And that makes you feel quite happy, Pisces. I do have to say that. Um, initially, you may have been blindfolded in regards to this person. You may have thought, you know, oh, this person is being, you know, overreacting or being a little bit unreasonable or being a little, um, you know, hard to deal with. But then on a second look, you know, when you actually have more light, you realize that this person actually has a great disposition, you know, they actually have a great attitude towards whatever is going on and whatever may come up, so it's, it's nice. I see you here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, as a Queen of Cups in this case, offering your cup of love, maybe to someone who's on a boat on the sea, maybe someone who does scuba diving <laughs> or fishing or... Um, you know, because the, the sea is very present here, maybe someone who leaves at the beach, or someone who works on a cruise, or you know, all the different possibilities. It seems like you're, you're toasting, it seems, and it seems like you're offering your cup of love, with a smile on your face. This may be a goodbye, this may be a cheerful, beautiful, loving goodbye that you're giving to someone. Or wishes, good wishes for someone. It feels lighthearted and unburdened. Someone here needs to move on. Someone here needs to keep going in the direction that they're going because they're getting a lot of success and they're claiming that success for themselves, all right? Um, this could be another person. This could be you. I definitely feel I definitely feel that Pisces has a chariot component to them in their energy right now. Um, you're very driven. You are getting all of the tools that you have and putting them together and making something magical happen. There's definitely a water sign here. Could be besides you because we have the Cancer card, the Scorpio card. Oh wow, and the Pisces card, and then the Queen of Cups. That's amazing. So there's a lot of water, there's a lot of emotion. I feel like sometimes you're going to feel very afraid, and other times you're going to feel, feel very at ease in regards to a person here. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. It's like one moment you think you're done, and then another moment you think like, oh no, never mind, this person is super reasonable. And then it's like, but what if they're not? <laughs> you know, it's like... Uh. There's a little bit of shakiness here. There is the, the the energy of the nine of swords is here. I feel it, but it's not showing up in the cards. There's someone here with very low self esteem, and you wouldn't think so because the person is amazing. But there's a lot of like low self esteem here that makes them um, vibrate this like untrusting energy. Ace of Wands, the Empress, the Devil, the Emperor, Five of Wands, and the Sun! Yay! The best card in the whole deck for you, Pisces. Beautiful. 
All right, yeah, what I'm getting here is that your mind is playing tricks on you, Pisces, and it's playing tricks on the other person, you know. Right now, you could be dealing with um, some distorted perspectives. Mars is moving into retrograde on the 9th, and from, from what I was hearing from Nadia Shaw, <laughs> uh, the astrologer, there's going to be a lot of, like, angry, aggressive energy that's going to be feeling like it's pent up inside. And if you don't channel it properly, it might, you know, bring up some aggression in you and in others. So I do feel like there's a part of you, Pisces, that is kind of angry, kind of bitter, kind of expecting the worst at all times. Confused, very, very um, resisting to trust, to trusting another. But the Emperor here, if you're dealing with an Aries, or if you're dealing with someone who is kind of like this Emperor, external to you, so this is a person who is, in this case, what I'm getting from the illustration, is that this person sees you. And they see you as a very beautiful little thing. <laughs> they see you as a very complex, very deep, very delicate, but at the same time complicated little thing. They see you as something precious. And they're honoring you as such. They're trying to give you the space when you need the space. They're trying to keep into consideration the wounds that you've had in the past. They try not to, you know, trigger you. They try to be transparent and honest. This person sees you as something very valuable, Pisces. This could be a romantic interest for some of you guys. And I feel like right now you may be very defensive, Pisces. You may be very defensive, self sabotage <laughs> And, you know, you may be engaging in an energy that is quite aggressive, you know, it's kind of intense. And that could be your mind playing tricks on you, okay? That could be um, also that energy of Mars retrograde coming around the corner and making you feel um, a little just too fiery for your own good. You may feel like ending things. You're going to be very tempted to burn bridges at this time. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to burn bridges to a crisp. <laughs> like, really bad. I can't tell you how many people I've like, blocked from social media. It's like a long list. And, you know, sometimes that's good because of boundaries and stuff, but sometimes it's not really that good. Um, and I feel like right now this energy might be very present. So, you know, be careful. There is no need to cut something off. There is no need to eliminate something or someone from your life at this time. You can always set your boundaries, you can always get some space, but you don't have to cut off everything with a person. Especially because I feel like this person actually values you. They may not know how to express it sometimes, but they do see you. They do recognize the beauty and the value in you. Timing could be a little off. Like, this person wants to offer you love, and then at that time you're like, eh, distrusting and weird, and then, you know, you want to offer them love, and then they are distrusting and weird, and it's just like, maybe not flowing as easily as it could. There could be a little bit more conflict than you would both like. I'm getting that this is in regards to a fire sign, alright? Or a water sign. Could be love, yes. But... You know, take the, the message as it applies. If it's not love, kind of like draw the parallel to the relationship, maybe if it's at work or a friendship or a family member. I'm getting that for most of you, it's actually kind of like related to love or romantic pursuit because of the two of cups here. And so much emotion that is showing up. You're going to feel kind of proud of this person. They're going to say something or do something or approach the situation in a certain way. And you're going to say, well, damn, you know, 
it's good. <laughs> that was the right way to deal with this. Maybe something that you didn't even, you didn't even notice or you didn't even think of. And this person is going to be like taking charge that way and you're going to like it, it seems. There is a very passionate new beginning here. The inspiration is overflowing, Pisces. The fire energy is overflowing too, so it is important for you to work out at this time. Go for a run if you feel like you're going crazy. If you feel very anxious, have a way to channel that energy physically, all right? Seriously, guys, you're going to thank me. When you are, if you don't know that, you're going to be very, very, very anxious. Yet again, I don't feel the nine, I don't get the Nine of Swords here, but it is here, very present somehow. The Empress. You could choose to be in this energy, Pisces. This energy is available for you, right? What would it take for you to go from the anxiety and the tension to the Empress? Channeling that energy properly. Taking a few steps back and allowing things to unfold without your participation. Because right now your participation is kind of tainted with a little bit of madness. <laughs> So it's, it's not a good moment to kind of like jump in and make moves and decide things because you're going to be very tempted to get angry, burn bridges, and, you know, be a little impulsive in a wrong way. So right now you would actually benefit from taking a step back or a few hundred steps back <laughs> and allowing space, space for this other person to take charge. Space for the universe to bring in the energy and space for you to know how to process them. You've got the sun, so absolutely everything is going to be more than alright, Pisces. There's nothing for you to worry about here. There's just some things that you need to be aware of, and that's what I am telling you right now. The sun is the best, most positive, abundant, prosperous card in the tarot, and it is here for you. But the card that is really catching my attention the most is this Emperor. And I've never seen this illustration in this way before. I've never perceived it this way. But he's looking at this little thing he's holding in his hand with so much appreciation. And I feel like this is you that they're examining <laughs> or um, appreciating, you know? They're like, look at this complex, beautiful, weird, crazy, precious little thing. <laughs> they may be saying that about you, you know, or feeling that way in some shape or form. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, Pisces, this is what I have for you today. Um, stay posted for the other readings. The sale is over, guys. Um, I'm going to maybe post it later. But in the meantime, thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of the Pisces Club and the Marathon. If you would like to join the channel, I would deeply appreciate that. That's the best way in which you can say thanks if you appreciate these readings, alright? I love you, fishies. I'll see you very soon. Bye.